What's going on, family? I'm just here to remind you that you can get yourself a copy of my new book, On the Shoulders of Giants, Volume 4 of the Caribbean, by visiting my website, www.ontheshoulders1.com, and help support me as I continue on my mission to make sure that my people have our information, even though, you know, there are many people trying to stop us from learning our history. But hey, we can teach ourselves. And one of the tools we can use is my new book, On the Shoulders of Giants, Volume 4, The Caribbean. Remember, visit my website, www.ontheshoulders1.com to get your copy. And I appreciate your support. Dr. May C. Jemison. On October 17, 1956, in Decatur, Alabama, Charlie and Dorothy Jemison welcomed their third child, May Jemison, who would change the world. When May was three years old, her family moved to Chicago to find better education opportunities for their children. Early in her school years, May was known to spend an enormous amount of time in the school library reading about science, specifically astronomy. While attending Morgan Park High School, May found her passion. She began pursuing a career in biomedical engineering. Upon graduating from high school in 1973 with consistent honors, she became a student at Stanford University on a National Achievement Scholarship. Jimson double majored at Stanford receiving bachelor degrees in chemical engineering and African American studies in 1977. After graduation, she entered Cornell University pursuing a medical degree. May Jemison traveled extensively while at Cornell. She visited Cuba, Kenya, and Thailand where she worked at a Cambodian refugee camp. She graduated from Cornell in 1981 before attending Los Angeles County University of Southern California Medical Center where she received hands-on training to become a doctor. Using all of her talents in education, May Jemison established a general practice. She later worked as a Peace Corps officer in Sierra Leone. She used her time there to teach and conduct medical research. In 1985, May Jemison returned to the United States and applied for the NASA Astronaut Training Program, but faced a roadblock when the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded in 1986. In 1987, she reapplied for the program and was one of 15 chosen out of a field of 2,000 applicants. She was the first African-American woman chosen to be a part of the training program. May spent more than a year in the training program and became an astronaut, which was accompanied by the title of Science Mission Specialist. This title garnered the responsibility of conducting crew-related scientific experiments on the space shuttle. In 1992, May Jemison flew into space aboard the Endeavour on mission STS-47. She and her crew spent eight days in space conducting experiments on weightlessness and motion sickness. May used herself and the crew as guinea pigs for the experiments. On September 20th, 1992, they returned and May became very famous for her achievements as the first African-American woman in space. Following her return from space, May received a plethora of awards and recognitions. In 1998, she received the Essence Science and Technology Award. In 1990, she was named the Gamma Sigma Gamma Woman of the Year. In 1992, she won the Ebony Black Achievement Award and the Macy Jemison Academy was named after her. Between the years of 1990 and 1992, she became a member of the American Medical Association, the American Chemical Society, and the American Association for the Advancement of Science. She served on the board of directors for the World Sickle Cell Foundation. She also became a committee member for the American Express Geography Competition, as well as a board member of the Center for the Prevention of Childhood Malnutrition. In 1993, she received a Montgomery Fellowship from Dartmouth College. She also left the Astronaut Corp to establish the Jimson Group, a company that researches, develops, and markets advanced technologies. May Jimson became a professor at Dartmouth College and started the Jimson Institute for Advancing Technology in Developing Countries. She later created the Earth We Share program, a science camp for girls ages 12 to 16, helping to improve problem-solving skills. May Jimson is a trailblazer. She used her imagination to dream of a future that she later made a reality by becoming the first African-American woman in space. Dr. Jemison opened doors for women of color at NASA forever. Dr. May C. Jemison, we proudly stand on your shoulders.